And welcome back to talk to me with the coach, Mike Wee Maidness. We're down on the field at Wrigley Field with Ricky Weeks, the second baseman for the Milwaukee Brewers. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good, you know, but, you know besides the cold weather. You know, things, uh, things could be a lot better, though. Well, you know, last time I had an opportunity to see you play, you were second baseman for Southern, and we were down there playing. So actually, y'all beat up on us. Oh, yeah, you know, you know. So now you're in the big leagues. How was that road to the big leagues? Oh, the road to Billy, you know, you know, it's kind of quick, I guess, uh, for the most part. But um, it, it, um, I think the Brewers did a good job of trying, you know, trying to groom me, trying to get me, uh, you know, trying to get me ready for this whole situation coming in here. And I know when we saw you when you were playing down at Southern, when I was still coaching college baseball, there's about 20, 30 scouts in the stands yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, that, you, you know, the whole year was kind of rewarding for me, you know. But you know, things worked out for the best. You know, God bless me, you know, being in the situation I am right now. So, you know, what more can I ask? We were down with the White Sox and the Mets in Tennessee for the Civil Rights game. What do you think about baseball as far as the inner city kids and they're not playing baseball today? Well, the biggest thing is that, you know, we just need to get out there and try to, you know, um, 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 I guess get out to these kids out there um, inside the inner city and the suburbs too as well, you know, black kids everywhere. But for the most part, I think, you know, um, I, I think baseball needs to do a better job of, um, you know, uh, I guess promoting our black athletes out there, you know, to the community, thing like that. But you know, kids. You know, um, you know, we gotta do a better job ourselves, you know, as players. Too. So, yeah. you know, it kind of goes hand in hand to the players and the situation, but like that. But for the most part, you know, we uh, we just gotta get out there anyway. For that youngster out there that got that ambition of playing in the big leagues, what was it like going from high school to college and then college to the pros? Well, I'm not gonna lie. You know, you know, um, it's pretty tough. You know, coming from high school. You know, you got to get drafted or, or you know, or, or, you know, go to call college ball for the most part. But you, you keep working hard, you know, put, you know, put God first and, you know, um, you know, things should happen after the better for you. And I know you came from Southern University, a historically black college. Roger Kadar, a friend of mine. What do you want to say to Kadar out there watching? Keep pushing, like I say, keep pushing. <laughs> you know, things got kind of thin lately, but, you know, um, I'm thinking the team's coming around lately. But, uh, you know, just keep pushing and just keep playing. Well, we want to wish you good luck in your season, of course, after you leave Chicago. Oh, yeah, you know that's right. I appreciate that. Coach Maiden with Ricky Weeks down on the field. All right, thank you. All right, I'll take care.